Okay, so we created our maps with um, USGS map. We save them, the save as TFF. We look on them, and now those images that we want have, we want to import inside the Terragen. So first, we'll just import single image, and after we'll look how we can import multiple images together here. So right now, when Terragen is open, we're going to the terrains, add terrain. And we're going to high fill load DM. So let's go select this one. And you can see right here we have an image that I'm going to select first DM diff. So we'll go open. It's preloading for us. And currently we still have it all these default shaders. So I'm just going to disconnect them, make a flat one. And if you look around here, we don't see any of this map. And the reason is why, because if we open our loader, you will notice we have specific data, which is nice when you export TFF file from the data inside. It's also have all this information um, on the altitude, latitude, where it's located, and high field, and all other information that we're going to use. This is provide very accurate positioning and very accurate um, highs and all the other information necessary to us. So we want to actually keep this. Uh, sometimes if you not don't want to go into so much details or done one tick, many people just go and disable J reference and it's well placed, you can see by the our camera. However, if we want to be very accurate to position, we want to enable J reference because it will help us to also set that properly sunset, sunrise and all other elements. But now we need to access to this. So to do this, we actually need to find where does that element locate it, and we need to rotate our Earth to the top place where the element is located. So for this, we'll just go take this northwest corner. That will should work. We'll copy those coordinates. Next, we're going inside the planet with the objects. Okay, right here, or we can just double time click to open the properties. Anyway, they will work, and inside let it long as epic. So we'll go right here and we'll paste those coordinates. So you'll notice we change our positioning is now changed. So if I'm zoom out because I think I'm just inside the mountain. Yep, right here. So right there, you can see we actually reorientated. And here's our elements that we just loaded. Of course, we can at this point, we can bring our camera closer. Locate it. Let's copy our camera position to this. And we have it. There's our data that we preloaded. Okay, let me maybe just find something a little bit more interesting in this case. So we like right there set our camera to this and here we have it our map preloaded you can notice it's inside the charging it's actually quite a bit easy and you don't necessarily need to disable properties if you have a geo reference you can just copy element uh, locations and rotate our planet so we'll have it on top and this is actually prefer um, because it's a little bit better, will work with normal calculations and other ones, so you will have it less uh, distortions or other elements. And uh, again, this is one way. So let's look in the next what's happening if we have multiple maps and how we can preload them.